Hello, folks. Welcome back to the C Morning Show right here on C. Today, it's time for us to jump into our first discussion of the day. Now, we know the Olympics are making headlines in Paris, but there's also another exciting news from Bath, the United Kingdom, where six Indonesian students recently competed in the International Mathematical Olympiad. So it's the Olympics for the brain. Wow, <laughs> at this prestigious event participated by 609 students from 109 countries, the Indonesian team brought home a gold, three bronze and two honorable mentions. And to know more about the competition, joining us today in the studio is Kevin Adisanjaya, the 2024 International Mathematical wow. Olympiad gold medalist. So you won the gold medal. Congratulations. Congratulations, Kevin. <laughs> yes, good morning. So can you explain to us the journey so that you can bring home the gold medal? I heard it's not easy. You have Definitely. to compete here in Indonesia first to get selected to be sent to the UK and you won the Olympics also. Can you tell us more? All right. So my journey actually started when I'm in the ninth grade. Yes. When I start joining the National Mathematical Olympiad at that time. Uh, in 2022, if I'm not mistaken, I got a bronze medal in the National Mathematical Olympiad. And then I joined the uh, training camp for International Mathematical Olympiad. And at that moment, I rang eight. And unfortunately, unfortunately I'm not able to join IMO at that year. But next year, in 2023, I rejoined the National Mathematical Olympiad, getting my first gold medal at that time and then come again to the national training camp for International Mathematical Olympiad at 2024 and securing the second place qualifying me for the International Mathematical Olympiad and at that time Thanks to God, I managed to bring back the gold medal for Indonesia. Thanks to God, definitely, Kevin. And of course, thanks to you because it seems that it is a very long journey because, again, you have qualification first right here in our nation before you are chosen and qualified for the International Mathematical Olympiad. So share with us, because you were mentioning before that really caught me uh, right now was there was the training camp. So before you went to UK, before you joined in the International uh, Mathematical Olympiad, how long was your training? How long was your preparation? And what kind of preparation that you need to do that finally can make you excel in the IMO? All right. So the preparation, of course, started when, before the National Math yeah. Mathematical Olympiad. At that time, I have preparation by myself. My school oh. also gave me some preparation in okay. Olympiad. And after the National Mathematical Olympiad, like the training, we have three training camps. Okay. Mm -hmm. The first one it has like 30 students in it mm -hmm. and lasted for about two weeks. Okay. So what do you do there? Like, I mean, do you have to like searching all questions, making your own questions with all the numbers? Like share with us like in detail. We want to see okay. how it is in the world <laughs> of the training camp itself. All right. So the first training camp, usually we get uh, teach a lot of uh, what, theory in math. Okay. Like we visit some of the theorem. Okay. And we have the test. I, if I'm not mistaken, we have three tests at the time. Okay. That uh, and 15 students with the most score mm -hmm. proceed to the second training camp. Oh, oh, okay. It's very competitive. That's right. So out of 30, you went to 15, right? Around that. Yeah. Okay. And, and then, then you go to the second training camp which again lasts for about two weeks. But this time we're starting more on uh, solving a problem okay. more than the theory itself. Yes. And again, we have around three or four tests. I, I actually a bit forgot about yeah. that. Mm -hmm. And six of us, uh, main, six of us will qualify for the IMO. Okay. From That's... the second training camp. Yeah. Okay. And these six students will proceed to the third Mm -hmm. training camp, which lasted about one month, and this time, most of the most time, uh, most of the time, we only study and um, and solving problems rather than learning some theory. So, uh, like prepare yourselves wow. for the IMO. Yeah. So during the IMO, uh, which country do you think uh, are the strongest opponents? Well. Mm, all country has their own style, but yeah. in terms of 
which country usually dominated IMO, yes. I, it is always about like China, China? Yeah. Korea, and United States. Okay, so more of the Asian countries and also one from the United States, but definitely you brought the gold home here to Indonesia. I mean, you have a lot of medals, I'm pretty sure. One of which that actually started from when you were back in junior high school, you won the National Science, it was like a Olympiad, isn't it? Uh, junior high school? Oh, yeah. Uh, actually, science Olympiad? No, yeah, oh, International one. Science Olympiad in math. In math, oh, in math, math also. Oh, also so, in math. Yeah, so it seems that your journey has been since, you know, a very young age. Yeah. So we want to go back because we do have our boys <laughs> and we want we them children. to be your prodigy, Kevin, one day. So when did you know, like, when did you realize that, okay, math is a subject that I love and how you could fall in love with math? Because math is not for everyone, uh, I'm sure, because for some people, math it's quite difficult. Feels like burden. Yeah, but you find it in a different spectrum. So share with us how you found that love for math. Okay, so I started, I have interest in math when I'm in elementary school. Okay. But I really start loving it when I'm in junior high school, when, I'm, when I was preparing for the National Olympiad at that time. Okay. For me to make math fun, like, don't think math as a subject where you memorize many theorem and formula rather than seeing math as a subject when we discover a world of numbers and ma mathematics itself. Okay, discovering the numbers, yes. yes. I wish that I met with you do when you, I was back in Yeah, do you take like any courses other than, you know, maybe in math? Other than from school, do you take additional courses when you were younger? Oh. When I'm in junior high school, yes, mm -hmm. but not anymore. Okay, mm -hmm. so tell us about this video that we play here. We have insertion, I think it's, I believe is with you. Is this during the Olympiad? This is, the IMO? I think before day one, or before day two, I actually forgot. Oh, I think okay. before day one. So how many days the IMO? We have, uh, it is around one week, but the task itself consists of two days, mm -hmm. three problems each. Okay, two days, three problems each. Yeah. All right. So, what was the problem yeah. that what they was that, that you need challenged to solve? you? Yeah. Oh, so in mathematics itself, in mathematical Olympiad, we have uh, four main categories, which okay. is algebra, combinatorics, uh, number theory, and geometry. Mm -hmm. So, each day we will give three problems for, and we solve it for four and a half hours. Okay. Which is an SI type question, mm -hmm. which usually requires uh, a lot of problem solving to solve. Okay. And then this is when you are on the Olympiad itself, you are by yourself, or do you have your coaches or maybe your tutors, the days that are before that you're going to join in the Olympiad, that you're doing a lot of problem solving and you're particularly kind of thinking, you know, what kind of questions that will be presented during the Olympiad of this year? All right, so in the competition, there are uh, six participants, right? Yes. And then we have one team leader, oh. one deputy leader, and one observer. Okay, and their roles are there to basically kind of guide you through during the competition? Yes. Okay. So if you were thinking right now, I mean, for some folks that is watching at home, um, how is it comparable between the math that you are learning right now at school than the math or, you know, the problems that they've challenged you during yes. the Olympiad? If you can give the ratio. Sorry? The math between the math that you study at school and the math being presented as a problem the Olympiad. during yes. the IMO. Of course, it is like really different mm -hmm. kind of math. Yeah, again, in Olympiads, it is mostly about problem solving, like the three problems chosen each day is usually a very new problem, like a very fresh problem where mm -hmm. usually no one has seen it before. So we have to really think about it. We see the word of the problem itself and we find a new idea to solve the problem. Yeah. Further in uh, school, usually math is kind of more memorizing 
like it's type of problem like if we meet this problem then we have to solve it like this right okay. there's a formula usually yeah. that for, for you to solve it so right? this yes. kind of problems that you have to solve at the i am oak or requires like critical thinking yes mm -hmm. And who was your, I would say, when you, before you won the gold medal, I'm pretty sure this is like the finals, because Olymp like Olympia, like Olympics, yeah. you have the semifinals and then you have the finals. Now for the last stage, it was between you that represent Indonesia and which other countries? Oh, so actually, uh, it's not like a tournament style, mm -hmm. but it's of the participant okay. just to a test and then the rank is from there, so oh, okay. there is no like uh, first stage, second stage, no. Okay. okay, so is it by the fastest one or the one that, how do they count which one should be the winner? Who who resolve the question the fastest or the the one that has most correct answer? Most correct answer. Most correct answer, okay. So, and you made the correct answer of all questions? No. No, how many questions? Uh, from the sixth question, I gained 29 points. Okay. Each question is worth seven points. So I solve problem one, mm. two, get zero in problem three. Okay. And then I get seven on four and five, and I get one point on problem six. Mm. So this is how it went during the IMO. Can you give us some tips? Like what did you do? How you prepare yourself on the D day itself? Uh, on the day. Yes. yes. So. In the morning, I just like try to calm myself down. Mm -hmm. Like at that time, it's it's no longer about it's not longer about the studies because we have studies for a long for a long time. Yes. Before. So it's more about to prepare me mentally. Mm -hmm. Like uh, in the morning, I go to a lake near the uh, near the competition site, mm -hmm. and I just uh, pray there. Hoping for the best. Definitely, I oh, love so that. Just calm yourself. Always very content, right? Mm. And Kevin, of course, that you know, congratulations for you to win the gold medal representing Indonesia. You're not only making yourself proud, God, and also your family, but you're making all of us yeah. in Indonesia very proud. That's now, true. one last question from the both of us: How can you share with us the tips? How to find math enjoyable? You were mentioning before it's not about theories, but trying to find, you know, the, you know, try to solve the problems and find the journey from there. But to make it more simplified, especially for the kids that is watching you right now and they want to be just like you, maybe any tips and tricks coming from Kevin Eddie Sinjaya? Yeah. Uh, first of all, don't force it. If you okay. really don't like math, that's fine. That's yeah. completely fine. Like everyone has their own interests. But uh, I think uh, learning from somebody in your age or older will give you more, like, more view about math. It is just about how we learn, how we find people who also love math and sharing our thought together, creating like a better journey for all of us. That's very good. Yes. Very great thank answer. Thank you so much. And thank much. you for your answer because that's actually so for the parents. Wisdom, don't force right? it. Don't force Kevin was looking it. at us like, don't force it. If your kids don't <laughs> like math, you know, find another avenue. Thank you very much, Kevin. Yes. Uh, congratulations once again and many best success for you on your next path in the future. Yeah, and I hope you get accepted to your dream university. So where do you want to go, by the way? Uh, Harvard? Still doesn't know. Oh, okay. Still, That's okay. what we love about Kevin. Yeah, Let humble. the God show your path. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kevin, again to our young Olympiad for the International Mathematical Olympiad that represents Indonesia. And of course, right now, hopefully this story by Kevin also inspired you. Now we're set for another commercial break. When we return, we'll bring you the world headlines. Stay tuned right here on The Streaming Show, only on C Today. Kevin, thank you.